This is hydrogen tap. They had some fancy music here. We could play it, but I don't. What we're doing, this is an Aaron cell in the V configuration. That means there's higher, there's wider gap on the top on one side than there is on the bottom. On the other side, it changes. It's beginning to look like using the Widowmaker as a guide that what we have to do is come up with the V system and it's also looking like that the bigger the plates the more power that you have to put through it but you're getting much much more hydrogen out of it anyway and I know there's going to be a lot of people telling me to measure it right now it's not my concern the bubbles that this is going to produce are the same type of bubbles that the Widowmaker makes, which is interesting in itself. Okay, the meter on the left is the voltage, the meter on the right is your amps. And Technical difficulty here. We're back. Too many experiments, too much rushing. Okay, it helps if you have it hooked up. What you're looking at there is a cell operating at 11.88 volts at 8.19 amps. Not too shabby for a four plate three by six inch cell. Since I can't breathe this stuff too long, we're gonna turn that off for a moment. <coughs> by the way I do have the win <laughs> the windows open. Remember if you watch it we're running at 12 volts. Well, let's take another look at this. It's only running at 7. It's only running around 7 amps. 7 amps at 12 volts and that's what you're putting out with only 4 plates. I'd say we've come a long way. Also, you might note to see how large a volume of water there is there. What I'm going to do is get a closer view of this. Try it again. Looks kind of familiar, right? Looks like the Widowmaker. Notice the bubbles. So we've brought it up to 7 amps. We're putting out considerably more hydrogen. And again, I'll get the responses, why don't you measure it at this point. I'm doing it by eye. There's a reason for that. Measuring it takes a lot of work right now. And we've come a long way, even without having to do that, and it's very, very easy to see the difference. All I'm interested in at this point is the difference. You can see how much hydrogen that's producing.
You could almost call this a widow maker that's three inches by six. So let's try the Widowmaker in the same amount and let's see what it looks like. What's going to happen is we should see less hydrogen. But let's check it out. Okay, we're back here. That's the Widowmaker on the bottom. Got 12.27 volts across the battery itself. running at 3 amps it's putting out a lot of hydrogen but you can see it's not putting out as much as the Aaron's V-cell So it's in the same solution, it's about half the amperage, and we say it's running at 2.84, actually it's much less than half. Okay, we're back again. What I've got now, if you notice, we've got 24.4 volts. Got the Widowmaker still in there. Start it up. We're back again. Battery was set up wrong. Let's try that again. 24 volts. That's more like it, huh? That's a Widowmaker at 24. Notice the amp, 6.29. So when we take the larger step up with the larger cell, we're getting much, much more hydrogen out of it. Okay, I've replaced it. I've got the Aaron cell back in here. Remember, anyone with the Aaron cell can do this same thing. This has only got four plates. I haven't experimented with the higher plates yet. And what we have here again is the Aaron cell V configuration. Seven amps, eleven volts. There's only four plates, 